Let's calculate the standard deviation of a portfolio in Excel, starting with the weights of five different securities, and then based on the day-end stock prices for each of them, we can come up with the portfolio standard deviation. So we're gonna start off with 10 years of data for the day-end adjusted close prices for each of these five ETFs. Now, why are we using the adjusted close prices? because these include the dividends and stock splits, so it's gonna be a bit more accurate. So for each security on each day, we can simply take uh, equal to the current day's price minus the previous day end price to find the amount that the stock gained or lost that day, and then the divide by the previous day end price to get that into a percentage form. So we can see that on this day, the SPY increased by 0.28%. Now, if we drag this all the way to the right, we can see how each of these stocks did on this first day. And now we can highlight over all of them, hit Control C on our keyboard, go over here, hit Control down arrow, and then hold Shift, and then grab the five columns, hold Control Shift up arrow, and then Control V to paste. And now we have the returns for all five stocks for the entire period of time. Now we have the data that we actually need. So let's go over to our other tab. We're going to calculate the portfolio standard deviation. So we assigned all these weights, but we could change any of these if we wanted to. Now what we need actually is a covariance matrix. And so to do this, it's actually gonna be quite simple. So you can go up here to this data tab, and if you don't see an analysis over here, something that says analysis, you can right click, hit customize the ribbon, then go to add-ins, make sure it says Excel add-ins and hit go, and then make sure you enable this analysis tool pack and hit okay. Now we'll see data analysis pop up, and we'll select that, and then we're going to click on covariance. So we'll hit okay. And now it wants our input range. So let's go over to our tab where we had all the data. Now let's start with where we had the column headers and then highlight five columns and then hold control shift and then hit the down arrow. So we've now selected the entire range there. Let's make sure we tell it that there are labels in that first row because it had the headers in the first row. Now our output range, we can select that dot and put it right here. And now I'm going to hit okay. So it just created our whole covariance matrix, but it only filled in half of it, and we want the other half filled in. So one thing you'll notice is that this SPY has the covariance of this value with IXUS. But if you look right here, SPY and IXUS has a blank cell. So we just need to get this over here and this over here like that. So what we can do is go equal to transpose, and then we can grab all four of these. If you have an older version of Excel, you're gonna to have to hit Control Shift Enter. If you have a newer, newer version, you can just hit Enter. So let's go all the way through for these. So transpose, and I'm gonna do it for all of them. So we'll transpose that, and then we'll transpose these two. And then for the last one, we don't even need to use transpose. We can just do equal, and it equals that one. So now we've got this whole thing filled out and you'll see our standard deviation for our portfolio populated. Let's talk through this formula now. So you can fill this out like this, and basically what you're going to need to do is multiply a few matrices together. So we can start off by creating the square root function, because basically what we're gonna do is calculate the portfolio's variance here, and then portfolio standard deviation is just the square root of the portfolio's variance we go equal square root, and then we do m mult. So this is going to be a function that multiplies matrices. So then we'll do another one inside of that. So we're going to, inside of this one, multiply two matrices. One is going to be the weights, and then the other one is going to be the covariance matrix. And this right here is going to output a matrix itself, right? And then once we have this new matrix, we're gonna to have to multiply that by another matrix. So that's what this second formula is for. So we're multiplying it by transpose, and then we're transposing this matrix, because basically we need this, instead of being in this format, we need it to be 
like this, if that makes sense. And also because there's 252 trading days in a year, we're going to multiply this one by 252. And then once we have all that typed in, we're going to see that the portfolio standard deviation is 10.79%. Now, if we tweak these weights, we would see that portfolio deviation change. Now, if you'd like to download the Excel file that I created for free in this video, please check out the link in the pinned comment or the description, and please subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you.